Now, South Africa and 19 other countries are taking part in a study to investigate a COVID-19 treatment drug. They're also looking at the effects of long COVID, and the aim is to evaluate the efficacy of the treatment on adults with mild or moderate infections. And the study will be administered in 16 sites across the country. For more on this, we joined in studio by Dr. Nogu P. Wambele from the Clinical HIV Research Unit at the Helen Joseph Hospital. Dr. Mbele, good Good afternoon to you and thank you so much for joining us. I think let's just start with uh, when you talk about COVID, long COVID. As far as we're concerned, COVID has now been under control pretty much, uh, albeit that you still need to practice some level of precaution. What are, what are these trials all about? Okay, so um, we are not in the pandemic. We, we're over the pandemic. It's declared as not a national state of emergency anymore but it doesn't mean it would, that it's over it's still going on there is still COVID-19 out there that's why we're doing these clinical trials to put it back onto the onto the rate of everyone else there is still COVID-19 out there that's why we need these clinical trials to still continue to Yes. Yeah. So, so we often get alerts. If you had subscribed, obviously you would have to have gone on all these interventions under strict lockdown and uh, with the introduction of the vaccines as well. The Department of Health had given either on WhatsApp or other platforms regular updates. And I think just as of last week, there had been a case of COVID reported, but we are told that this is non-threatening and it's just one individual. So when you say there's still COVID, um, it's out there. You know, what are the kind of precautions that we still ought to take? Okay. Um, the problem is that now that no, it's not in the rate and not everyone's thinking about it, is that people are not testing for COVID-19. So for us to actually put it back here, we need to, put, to make it clear to people that they need to, to go get tested. So... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the clinical test then, what is the process, especially when it comes to uh, your clinical uh, test attendees? I earlier said guinea pigs and you said that's not uh, the uh, sophisticated way of putting it, but how does it all work? Okay, so we are currently doing a COVID-19 treatment clinical trial at a 16 site in South Africa. This trial is, uh, is still in the investigational stage with, to see the efficacy and the safety of this drug. It uh, promises and it has shown a signal that it can actually lessen the risk of developing long COVID. So if you speak to a lot of people who've had COVID, even from 20, 2020, they will tell you that they're still getting fatigued, they're still getting shortness of breath, they've got brain fog. So this drug actually promises that that it can re reduce the risk of actually getting long COVID symptoms. Okay, so does that mean for those that are vaccinated, the two jabs, even the boosters, you most likely would have to take a fourth uh, vaccine just to ensure that you, you, um, you, know, you, you try and, and cover all bases? Okay, remember that's a vaccine, it's, it, it boosts your immune system that it's, so that it stays alert. So that when the actual virus comes in, the immune system is ready for it to attack that virus. So the immune system it can actually wane the reaction in the immune system and the antibodies can actually wane out. So that's why you need to boost with the, the vaccines. Yeah. All right. So and how's the, the, the clinical trial going and how do you attract the participants? Do you have to have certain comorbidities, etc.? Okay, so we are looking for people who with new onset symptoms, with your symptoms have begun have begin within, within three days because it has shown that if you start this drug, your symptoms actually will, you will uh, recover quite quicker and you also protect against uh, the risk of developing COVID symptoms. We are looking mainly at people with uh, chronic uh, illnesses, people with comorbid illnesses because they are more likely to develop severe COVID. So we're looking at people with hypertension, diabetes, asthma, obese people, so we are calling on them if they've got symptoms, which actually began three day, within three days to actually go and, and contact one of the 16 sites that are available in South Africa. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll come to the sites now, but um, as somebody who would be interested, what is the benefit to them besides, you know, the call for national duty? It's, you know, something that you would do for your countrymen. What is the benefit of that participants who voluntarily would want to be part of this trial? Okay, so um, it's only even if you, are, you don't have comorbid illnesses that 
you can actually, for you, you never really get back to your normal self. Other people have said, um, I, I feel run down, even healthy people without any comorbid illnesses. So this clinical trial is promising that you will re recover quite quickly. You will come to a symptom resolution quite quicker compared to the average uh, days for most people. It's eight to, to anything to eight to 15 days for you to recover, whether you are a healthy individual. Mm -hmm. If you have comorbid illnesses, then it becomes longer. So this drug actually promises you to recover quite quicker. Okay, and and are you taking in um, you know applicants uh, for for the trials or how are they necessarily uh, approached? How do you engage with them? Okay, so we the different sides have different approaches of how they actually recruit participants. They some of them actually there's they broadcast radio broadcast there's newspapers. There is a, a community outreach where we go out there. We'll tell people about clinical trials, and then we provide testing, sort of a screening test for people with symptoms of COVID-19, like flu people, and then we provide testing for them, and then we'll tell them about the clinical trial, and if they're interested, then they will join. But like as I mentioned now, there's a, 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 a website where someone is with symptoms and is interested in joining the clinical trial can actually go there and find their nearest site wherever they are. Yeah, but there have been many, many variants of COVID-19, which have then prompted government to institute different levels of lockdown uh, and the period under quarantine, etc. The masks, you know, sanitizing your hands. So where are we in terms of just research? You were saying that it is under control, and but it's still very much out there. What what kind of uh, strain are we are we talking about in terms of COVID-19 and how that is being treated? Okay, so there is multiple strains that are actually circulating. There is still the Omicron strain that is circulating, and then there is the new the Aries uh, the Aries strain that it's, it's it's been reported overseas. And like you were mentioning, there's been some cases also in South Africa of the new COVID strain. There, there are people are still admitted. So currently, we do not have treatment for COVID-19. We treat the symptoms of what you have. That's why we're trying to find different treatment modalities of treating COVID-19 because there is no treatment. There, there has been, a, SAPRA has approved some drugs, but they are not readily available to the normal public who's mm. out there because they're quite expensive. Yeah, and, and our system is <coughs> perfect, so you can't say 100% even the vaccines can protect you against contracting HIV, uh, I beg your pardon, uh, COVID-19, but um, they, you at least, you know, you have a better chance of a quicker recovery without uh, very dire complications. So now with the uh, different sites that we add, um, the number of people that have responded and how far you are with the trial process. Okay, so it's happening in 21 countries worldwide and South Africa being a, one of the countries. So currently they were looking at recruiting 2,000 participants. Now we are close to 1,200 participants currently who are on the clinical trial. So we're still calling out for anyone with symptoms. To okay, so anyone with it. symptoms, but they would have to set aside a certain period. How long is it that they're going to be under the trial? Okay, the trial is uh, for six months. The follow-up is six months. Within the six months, you will have visits for eight visits within the six months. So the treatment, it's a, you take it for five days. On the first day, you're taking three tablets, and then on the subsequent days, you're taking one tablet. But then we monitor you closely. That's why you must come to your follow-up visit so that you can do tests and also check for any complications. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. You. Mbele, for your time. We're speaking to Dr. Nogu P. Wambele from the Clinical HIV Research Unit at the Helen Joseph Hospital.